Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a haul for you guys. This is actually part two. I'm going to go ahead and put part one up in the cards. But basically on MLK Day, all of the thrift stores in my area were doing a huge 50% off sale on everything. So you know I had to go. So I went to four different stores. The first part of it was just from the first store I went to because the first store I went to was so good and the other three stores were really good as well but I went later in the day so there wasn't as much but I still got a lot so this is gonna be a long one go ahead and grab you a snack or make sure you're doing something kind of you know mindless like I love to watch reseller videos while I'm shipping or listing I don't know about you guys but let's go ahead and get into this everything should be listed by the time that you're seeing this um, there are some items that I still do need to clean but they should be good to go by the time you guys are viewing this. So let's start with our shoes. So I don't pick up a lot of shoes in bags regularly because those are the things that my thrift store just sees as like gold. They can be shoes that are literally like covered in dirt, beat to crap, and they will price it at $20. So half off days is really when I take advantage of that. So starting with shoes, the first pair that I got are a pair of Stevie's. I believe Stevie's are like a lower end line of Freebirds. I do need to do some more research. I haven't listed any of the shoes or cleaned them yet, hence why I'm still a little bit confused. But I think these are really cute with the fringe. They are man-made material, so that's kind of a bummer that they're not leather. And then they're also a smaller size. These are a woman's size 5, but they were still in really great condition. There's really no wear at all. I only brought one shoe for each pair because laziness let's be real um, but these are really in great condition so they may take a little bit because they are a size 5 but they're really really cute I could even see hopefully no one takes this like offensively but I could even see like a little girl wearing these I work in schools and I see little kids wearing shoes like this all the time so you know maybe a splurge for your child I don't know the next pair is a pair of Vera Wang shoes. I don't think I've ever really sold Vera Wang shoes before. I used to send it into the real real, but with their new payout structure, it just doesn't make sense. These are made in Italy. They're a pointed toe, and these are in a size seven and a half, and they are leather. They're in pretty great condition. There's really no heel wear or anything like that, and with them being kind of a cheetah, I think they'll do okay because I know Cheetah Prince shoes, they're always pretty popular. They add just a pop to your outfit. The next pair that we have here is a pair of Ariat, Aria, I can never remember how to say that, shoes. I don't pick up this brand a lot because my thrift store typically does like to price it up. Um, I know they're more so known for their boots, so I'm not really sure how these will do, but they're in great shape. I thought they were Sperry's when I first saw them. These are a size 11, which is a great size. Larger sizes and shoes typically do pretty well for me. So I'll have to do some more research on those. Then we have this pair of Lucky Brand Mules. Lucky Brand is definitely going to fall in that bread and butter category. So these will probably only sell for about 25. These are in a size 10 in the Ritza style and they are leather upper. Nice little wedge. This next pair I've actually sold twice before. This is Steve Madden in the um, style Sienna. The cool thing about Steve Madden is if you look on the tongue, a lot of the times it will tell you the style name. It's kind of hard to show you, but these are the Sienna. They're basically like a golden goose knockoff. They sell pretty quickly for about 25 to 30, just depending on condition. I sold a pair of these that were in like honestly really poor condition and I shouldn't have picked them up and they still sold for I think 15. These were in the women's section, but they are actually men's. I don't really go to the men's section a whole lot, so if I do ever find anything that is a men's piece, it's probably because it was in the women's section. This is a pair of Fry leather slip-ons. They're in really great shape. Um, surprisingly, they actually didn't really have these marked up that much at my thrift store. These are a size 11 and a half, so a great men's size, maybe $40. Then we have this pair of Nike shocks. What a throwback. I used to rock the shocks when I was in elementary school. 
Um, I know these were doing really well a few years ago. I honestly don't know that they're still selling for a lot, but I know you're supposed to really check the shocks portion, make sure that it's not coming off, and these are still in really great shape, still intact. These are in a size women's 11, larger sizes for shoes. Doing good. And then the last pair of shoes I have here are a pair of Vionics. Vionics is a comfort brand and I like selling it. I haven't sold it a whole lot because it's another brand that my thrift store really just marks up. These are in a size... Oh, there it is. These are in a size 9.5. They're really great. Um, I think these are genuine leather, but it doesn't say. So I'll have to do a little bit more research. The soles look really good. So... Excited to see what those sell for. I'll probably start them at like 40 or 45. Then I, like I said, I never really pick up bags because I don't really know a lot about bags. I am not a purse person. I use the same tote that I've had for years for everything and I only use that because I need to carry my stuff. But if I can get away with not bringing a purse, I do. I just don't like it. It's a lot of pressure on my shoulder. I can appreciate bags, but not really my thing. So I don't really know much about them. And also my thrift store does tend to mark them up, but I did get two bags. So the first bag is this Betsy Johnson bag. I've sold Betsy Johnson bags a handful of times. I know they're sold at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but they still do sell um, anywhere from like 25 to 30, depending on the size and the condition. And these are in great shape. So this one is just a smaller star bag. It's got the really cute cloud and lightning bolt chain. This is the Love Betsy line really great shape and then the other one is also another Betsy Johnson piece this one is a larger tote anytime I find a Betsy with the big bow on it it gets a lot of attention it's got little rosettes on the side and it also does have the long strap and the short strap the interior is really clean so maybe like 30 to 35 but I always think Betsy Johnson bags are cute. I used to have one myself when I was a little bit younger and I loved it. I always felt like I was rocking it and had a big bow on it and I would always get compliments. Um, but I did end up actually selling it because like I said, I am not a bag person. I got a neutral bag now and that's that. What about you guys? Are handbags your thing? Are you more like me, more like on the go, just carrying the bare essentials if you can? Okay, moving on to clothing. We have a lot. Clothing is definitely what I sell the most of. It's what I enjoy the most. So first up we have Roots Canada. This is a sweatshirt dress. This is in a size extra extra small. Athleisure is really popular as you guys know. There's the Canadian leaf. It's not the maple leaf. And um, this is just a nice hooded sweatshirt dress. I've sold Roots a handful of times. I know some people have better luck with it than I do. I can normally sell it anywhere from like 15 to 25. Um, that is a smaller size so it may take a little bit. This next piece I am just obsessed with. I don't know how well it'll do. I think it's one of those pieces that would probably do better on Depop but I personally don't sell on Depop. I just haven't had much luck there but this is a vintage shirt. This is any size extra large. It's by the brand Karen Hart and it reminds me of Chessie from The Parent Trap if she was a teacher. Like how amazing is this with all of the patches. I could see like an art teacher wearing this or a really cute, um, what is that, Gen Z wearing this with, you know, all style with a cute little headband or something. I am a like, school librarian but I am nowhere near cool enough to wear this. I would just feel like a poser all day long, but it is just so cute, so cool. Someone needs that. 90s teachers unite. The next piece is a Torrid sports bra. Torrid sports bras always sell really quickly for me, anywhere from $15 to $28. I believe this one is in a size 2X. And there's the back, just a nice little racer back. Then we have Free People. Free People is one of my best selling brands, especially when it's a more bohemian piece like this one. This one's in a size small and it's a red tunic dress. It's got a puff kind of flared sleeve, the floral embroidery, and then at the bottom, the floral embroidery again. Although it is a size small, it could honestly fit up to a large. You guys know Free People fits really oversized. Then we have Anthropology, and I've sold this dress before. 
sons in a size large, anthropology and free people in size large. You can get a little bit more and it typically will sell faster. So this is Maeve and it's just a cute little drop waist chevron dress. It kind of flounces out at the bottom. It is missing the slip that is detachable, but I don't think that detracts too much from it. Then we have the plus size brand Eloquy. This is in a size 18. It's just a nice pair of pull-on black leggings. It's got the stretch panels on the side. I do not at all like dress pants. I think they're super uncomfortable and like starchy. So something like that I think is like the happy medium if you're like me and dress pants are not your vibe. This is Athleta Girl. This is in a size extra large or 14. I've sold Athleta Girl once before and it flew out of my closet just for like $15. But when it's not expensive, I think it's worth it just to quickly get it listed. This is just a pair of black leggings. Honestly, if you're a really petite woman, you could probably fit into those as well. I'm trying to make sure my pile doesn't fall over by grabbing the wrong piece. This is Pilcro in the Letter Press, which is Anthropology. This is in a size 28, and it's this really cute pair of green cords. I love the little pockets right here. I feel like it's kind of a missed opportunity that I found these after Christmas, but these are stinking cute. This is another great like alternative if you're not into dress pants. Cords are really comfy, in my opinion. Free People Beach, I feel like we've all probably have sold this in some colorway or another. This is a size medium, and it's just a really short tank cover-up dress. I've sold this countless times in the white colorway, and I think in this colorway as well, probably like $15 to $25. Anthropology Moth, this one's in a size small, and it's just a cute little short sleeve sweater. Got the little pocket down there. Again, more bread and butter. This next piece is definitely one of my bread and butter brands, but it is a little bit more interesting. This is Torrid size 3X. And what makes it so interesting is it's definitely more of a like going out formal dress. It's got metallic throughout it. It is missing the detachable belt. You can tell because there's a loop right there. But personally, I don't think this needs a belt. It's already kind of loud. So, very cute. I typically only start tour dresses about for about $28. But I'm going to start that one a little bit more because it is just so cute. Sorry if you hear my dogs. This one is new to me. This is heroin, heroin sport. It's not heroin. Anytime I see heroin, I, if any other people are Harry Potter fans, I think I instantly, my brain's like, Hermione. That's where it goes. Um, no, no. This is a size small. Comps on this were really mixed. It's just a black pair of leggings, though. They feel like they're really good quality, so we'll see how those do. Eileen Fisher, this is in a size extra small. I do like to sell Eileen in a larger size, but when the price is right and the material is good, like this is wool, then I do pick it up regardless of the size. This next dress is so cute. Some bride-to-be needs this. This is a size extra small, and it's the Nordstrom brand Bardot. And it's got Swiss polka dots. It's got lace, it's got a flurry little skirt. I think this is just stunning. Either a sorority girl or a bride-to-be, I think is who's probably gonna end up with that. We have another dress. This one is a sweater dress by Athleta. This is the older Athleta tag. This is in a size small. It's a great little neutral. If I wasn't so pale, I would definitely try this on with some tights and boots but this would wash me out, but very cute. I love the cable knit. Then this next piece I need to take back to the store. So my store uses security tags on like everything. They're very conscious, I guess, about people stealing from them, even though they price things very reasonably. Um, so they did leave the security tag on this, so I will have to ask them to remove that next time I go. But this is trying to find oh, there we go this is charter club i only pick this brand up if it is cashmere 
Even then, it probably will only sell for about 25 at most. It's a cute little gray cardigan, a nice basic. This is another piece that she accidentally left the security tag on, but this is Sundance in a size small. It's a really nice space dyed like thermal. The cuffs are really cute with the buttons. Sundance has been doing really well for me just as another bread and butter. So you guys can see there's the security tag. That's another thing, like none of their security tags even match up. They have no uniformity in the ones they're using. This is Patagonia. This is a little exercise dress in a size medium. The exercise dresses don't do like spectacular for me, but they will sell for about $15 to $25. So it's a halter dress. It's got kind of a fun loud print. Then we have Matilda Jane. I've heard that Matilda Jane is actually being discontinued, so I'm not sure what that's going to do to the resale value. I think some of their pieces are too busy and I think some of their pieces are really cute. This is one that I personally would put in the cute category. This is a size large and it's just this red v-neck cardigan. It's kind of oversized and it's got this ruffles, pleated detail. Just a nice basic to add to your wardrobe. Then we have Diane von Furstenberg, size 6. This is another brand that I used to send to the Real Real, but now I am selling myself. Diane does okay for me. I think that she makes really pretty dresses, but they do sit for a little bit. Um, so we'll see how that does. This is Garnet Hill. Garnet Hill does really well if you can find good material content. Okay, I think this one is Baby Alpaca. This one's in a size extra small and it's just cow neck. It is not itchy, it's brown, pretty cute. This coat is by the brand Ryu, which is sometimes sold at Mod Cloth. It definitely gives that like retro Mod Cloth vibe. It's lace, it's a cute little pea coat. It is missing the size tag, but I would say it would probably best fit either a small or an extra small. I think that this brand just makes the most lovely feminine <laughs> outfits, little uh, outerwear jackets. I think they make dresses as well. They don't set, tend to sell for a whole lot, but that's okay. Just because that's one of those pieces that makes my heart happy. This is Topshop. I don't pick up a lot of Topshop, but I was kind of on a roll this day. Size 6. These are a pair of faux leather pants. They zip on the side. They're in good condition. Okay, what do leather pants and faux leather pants make you think of? Ross from Friends. That's my personal thought. Every time I see them or I see someone wearing them, I think of that scene of Ross not being able to get in and out of his leather pants and I just about die. This is Zaya size 6 to 8. I'm not really like fully on the Zaya's great train, but it does okay for me. These pair of crops, so I'm definitely not expecting it to do wonderfully, but they're cute. They have like a little white like animal print panel on the side. Maybe $15 to $25. This next dress is just darling. It's a sweater dress. It's by Reese Witherspoon's brand, Draper Jane's, in a size small. This brand has definitely gone downhill. Um, when it first debuted a few years ago, you could get a lot of money for it. Now you're going to get more of that bread and butter brand. And if it says RSVP Draper Jane's, that's actually going to be the Kohl's line. So this one is just the regular line. But it's really cute with the little like Swiss polka dot cutout detail there. Very feminine. Okay, I don't typically pick up Miss Me, but I thought this jacket was darling. This is Miss Me, and I think this is the older Miss Me tag in a size small. And look how cute this is. Just a plaid moto jacket. I could see something like this being sold on Revolve. Wear this with some nice leather pants. Have like a... Um, more modern sandy and grease vibe. This is Jules. Jules is a UK brand. It does okay for me. It's very hit or miss. This is in a size 8. I don't even know what this print's supposed to be. 
The next piece is Anthropology Plus A+. Plus. I love finding this brand because it kind of doesn't matter what piece you can find, dresses, um, shirts, etc. It sells really well. This is in a size 2X. Just a really pretty dark pink blouse. I think this already has two likes and I have it priced at 45 <coughs> Excuse me. This next piece is Frank and Eileen, and I actually saw this while I was going towards the register. This is in a size small. They had this in the men's section for some reason, and it's just a nice lavender color. At first, I was kind of upset with myself because I was like, oh, you didn't check this thoroughly enough. Look, there's all these, like, rips and distressing, but after researching, I saw that that was intentional, and this is actually sold for my full price on Poshmark for $45. Frank and Eileen has always sold really quickly for me. This is the cool thing about them is they put the style name right there. So this is the Eileen. So definitely a brand that you should be looking out for. And then this is another brand that has always historically done really well for me. This is Gretchen Scott Designs. This is an A size small. It reminds me a lot of like Lily Pulitzer, Jude Connolly. Um, kind of that loud southern mom print. The set one does still need to be washed, but I've sold this brand before and it typically goes for about $30 to $40 just depending on the piece. Okay, another pair of leather pants, but these ones are gold. This is BB size 4. Don't pick up a lot of BB, but something about these just spoke to me. What did these make you think of? If you said Austin Powers, gold member, your brain works like mine. When I saw those, I was like, yes, Austin Powers. Foxy Cleopatra. Then we have a pair of a Goldie jeans. These are in the Sophie style. That's the most common style that I find. These are in a size 25. A Goldie is really hit or miss for me. Sometimes it does extremely well it gets a bunch of attention and then sometimes it's like I'm letting it go for $25 because it's had one like for months an exciting find these are Spanx size extra small and Spanx is another brand that's kind of like lost its value for me but the pleather leggings typically do really well these have the cool little white racing stripe on the side they're in great shape I don't typically pick up Onzi anymore. This is in a size extra small. This brand is sold on Revolve, but I haven't personally had a lot of success with it. But I did pick up this pair of leggings because the Bengal Tiger, it just reminded me of Lisa Frank, and that kind of made me happy. They are cropped, so who knows how they'll do. Probably not that well, to be honest. I was having a leather pants moment. <laughs> This is another pair of leather pants. This is Vaco, made in the USA. I think they're vintage. Size 6. It's super soft, buttery leather, though. Is it the Matrix where they wear leather pants? That's what that makes me think of. Then another brand I don't typically pick up, but I just thought this was a really nice blazer. This is H&M, size extra small. And it's very minimalistic. It's a tan, neutral, cropped blazer, double button. I'm not expecting anything crazy for it, obviously, because it's just H&M. This is Anthropology again, a size large. This is 11-1 Tylo. I think this is an older Anthropology brand, but it's very bohemian. It's got little tassels. Pretty much if it's Anthro size large, I will buy it. Lucy size small. I'm pretty sure Lucy is another discontinued brand. This is a nice pair of gray pull on pants. Those look extremely comfortable. Tadashi Shoji is our next brand. This is in a size 8. This brand is very hit or miss for me. Sometimes I do have to sit on it. But this would be a really lovely Mother of the Bride dress with the champagne color, the sparkles. It's kind of like Ariana Papel, where some certain styles. You can make a decent amount, and then some, it just doesn't really work. Okay, this is Anthropology 11Zs. This is in a size 4, and I need some, like, retro, vintage, 
person to snatch this up and style it. I think it's really cute. I think it will take the right buyer though. It's got a cute little bow in the back. This is a brand I don't often pick up. This is Logo by Lori Goldstein. This is a QVC brand, but it does have the word lavish in it, so I guess it's her higher end line. This is a size medium. And I picked this up because I just thought the embroidery was so beautiful. It's also got like an eyelet sleeve, nice little green jacket. Do you remember that phase in like 2014 where we, we were all green vest obsessed? I totally remember all the bloggers doing that and I had my own little green vest that I had gotten from the Target's kids section. I used to wear it all the time over everything and this is kind of embarrassing but funny but I was wearing it one day and my mom and I went into Victoria's Secret to get fitted for a bra and the girl was like, she just kind of looked me up and down and she was like, I think you need like a double A like I don't think you really have anything going on like basically telling me to get like a training bra and I was like listen I know I'm not that well endowed but I don't think I'm a, a double A and I took off the vest and she's like oh okay no never mind you do have a little bit of something there I don't know what made me tangent into that but funny little story this is something I probably should have left behind this is Balance Athletica which is a good brand to sell. This is what the kind of little logo looks like. It's got the triangle sports bra, size small, but I probably should have left it behind because there is quite a bit of peeling on it. I think it still has the pads and everything. It is just peeled. Then we have Torrid. This is a size 4X, so a wonderful size. Super bohemian, super stretchy at the top. Nice little basic. This next brand is a new to me brand, but I liked the style. This is the brand Wavy with two V's. Couldn't find too much on this. This is a size small, but I liked the lace up style. I like that they're black and they look like they're full length as well. So we'll see how those do. This is Spanx size extra large and I've never found a Spanx piece like this. I can tell it's an older one just because of the cracking on the logo but it's like a little hoodie to work out in. The stock photo is also older so it's okay with it being that size it's already gotten two likes and I think I have it priced at like $45. This is another brand I personally don't really understand the hype on. It's done okay for me in the past. This is Figs. It's like the only scrub wear brand I really know. It is new with tags. These are any size small. It's a gray pair of scrub pants. Some people swear by these. They say even pre-owned you can get like $40. That personally has not been my experience. So I think I have these priced at $40 or $45. They're not a rare colorway or anything. I did just sell a matching scrub set in a bundle that was like this really nice Kelly green color for Figs. And that sold really quickly. But even with that, it only had one like. So was it an outlier? Does it actually sell well? We will never know. This is Athleta. Again, an older tag. This is a size small. You can see that older tag. And it's just a gray, drapey dress. These typically only sell anywhere from like 15 to 25 for me. Thought this next piece was really cute. This is Airy, which I'm picky about. This is any size extra large. And it's just a cute little ruffle squirt. Pretty much any sort of exercise squirt I do pick up because I think they're very on trend. And we have Knox Rose. This is in a size extra, extra large. I do like to sell this brand in a size extra large or higher, especially the dresses. So this is a really adorable floral dress probably only get like $22 for that Gap extra small this is a pair of overalls I've sold Gap overalls countless times they used to sell for like 40 now I can get like 30 
5 to 25, just depending on the day. And then we have some chambray. This is Torrid, size 1X, and it's a baby doll top. Just a nice little basic. I would pair this with like a pair of black leggings and some riding boots. It'll be a little bit 2018, but that's okay. Tory Birch. This is a silk dress. This is a size 4. Tory Birch clothing, very, very hit or miss for me. I think I only have this priced at like 40. I don't price it anything outrageously unless it is like genuinely super cute and super high quality. All right, there's a comp supporting that it's going to sell really well. Otherwise, it does okay. Alice and Olivia is kind of the same case. This one is a size extra small. It's just a nice white adjustable strapped boho dress. I don't know why I said that so odd. There's some lace at the bottom. I could see that being worn as like a cover up as well. This next brand is not one that I really seek out. I think they make a lot of cute styles, but it just doesn't sell that well for me. This is J-O-A or Just One Answer. This is a size extra small. But I thought this is cute. It's a little bit all dated with the little choker, but the lovely red color. Nice formal wear dress. Probably hit like just to your knee. And then we have Eloquy, size 18. Just a nice black dress with a cute little peekaboo cutout. This is a pair of AG jeans. I've seen a lot of people talk about the Farrah style, so I'm giving them a try myself. These are in a size 28. I've seen these. When I was looking at comps, I was pleasantly surprised. It looked like they were going for like 40 plus. I'm not sure that they actually will sell for that, but fingers crossed. Almost to the end, guys. We have two more pieces. So we have Garnet Hill, size medium. This is a wool blend and just a nice chocolate brown cardigan. And our last piece is another pair of overalls. This is Pilcrow in the letterpress, size extra small. And when I was looking up comps for this, I was very pleasantly surprised. It looked like they were going for like 55 plus, even when the pictures weren't that good. Um, but there weren't very many of them, so we'll see if they actually do that well. Kind of some distressing. It's that really nice soft denim that I personally enjoy. Okay, that is everything. If you are interested in anything, all of my closets are linked down below. Let me know that you're from YouTube and I will make sure to give you a really great deal. If you're interested in my TikTok or my Instagram, that's also in the description down below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate your support.